here we are somewhere in West Baltimore. I don't know what street we're on, but uh, we have some derelict homes here. Uh, looks like six of them. And then uh, there's a seventh up there. And we have some occupied homes here as well. But uh, let's uh, go over here and have a look and see what uh, we have going on in here. This one, wow, this is completely collapsed. One thing, oh, how did I know we'd run into what is it? Oh. <laughs> a syringe. At least the person was uh, thinking about others and put the cap on the damn thing. You know, I was just saying, like, uh, doing this back in the day, I never... You, you would never see syringes anywhere. Mm -hmm. And now they're they're everywhere i mean literally i just see them all over the place <laughs> it's so, so it's just like horrible um it's i mean it's an epidemic yeah but uh you gotta really keep your eyes peeled because you don't want to get pricked let's see here this is fun <laughs> this place is so bugged yeah it's really bad Oh, jeez. So look at that. This was a house at one time. Family lived here. Yep. That's so cool. But th this is completely shot. You can't even know. Uh, it's just gone for good. Total tear down. It's amazing. Look at that. This house was probably built in the at the turn of the century. Yeah. The formstone came out in the 30s or 40s, and it was extremely popular. Yeah, it's all over Baltimore. Um, and you can see down here, looking at it, it's only about an inch thick, maybe half an inch thick, yeah, three so. quarters of an inch thick. And um, you would attach it to your home to modernize <laughs> the look of your house. So instead of just painted brick, you could have formstone. Now this is painted formstone. This is regular. Actually, this is formstone, but it's a. It looks different. It's different than than this traditional. It normally looks like this. Yeah. Yeah, this is traditional formstone right here. Now this place is all locked up here, so we're not going to be able to. But uh, again, it's completely collapsed. Wow. Inside, you can see up there. Here is the old brick with the paint peeling off. This right here uh, was, you know, this was all houses here. But at least, look, they have a garden going. And it looks like they put a bench in over there to make a little park. So this is, uh, this is nice. At least they're using the space for something. But it, when these houses were here two years ago, uh, if you went on Google Maps, you'll be able to see them. But this whole block, everything was abandoned. Much like over there, those are all abandoned. We can go look at those too. basement what's going on here I know oh this has a 
hole. Look at the hole. I, know, I didn't understand. Let me see if I can get this. Holy me... crap, you're like inside. It looks like it may be intact in there. Yeah, it does. Hard to say though. They're like doing something in there. There's like all these different type of fresh food. Uh, or has that been left? I am gonna say that they probably started something and then... And left. Then abandoned it, yeah. Wow. But it doesn't look, uh... That's a mess in there. Yeah, what are they selling here? Three dollars. Oh, it's a... It's a tent. Oh, that's Look cool. at this old sign here. That's an old sign. I heard this against my shirt and I thought it was a bee, <laughs> but it's not. Um, I don't know what's going on in here. I filmed a little. So what is this here? Is that a, oh, I think it's a melted candle. I was like, that's a pretty damn interesting looking Please. piece of pottery, but it looks like a melted candle. It is a melted candle. That's so, so weird. So about, uh, I guess it was 2016, I'm gonna guess. Um, I filmed this alleyway and it's when the houses were still here. It was like, I think I titled the video like the worst alleyway in Baltimore. And you can see they have uh, torn down all the homes except for just a few up here. But this alleyway, when the houses were here, was uh, just completely unbelievable. Here's an old uh, uh, water meter, I think. Yeah, because it would have a lock on it? Yeah, I think that would have been a water meter. Um, these people live here? I think these houses, yes. Like at least it's great. Are occupied. I almost stepped in one of the water meter things. Yeah, so these would have been the water meters for the houses that would have been here along this way. Wow. And across the street there, all those houses were torn down as well. And then behind that, you can see just there is another abandoned home that is uh but you can see straight through the home yeah so it's really crazy. here's two of the homes that are abandoned here you can see this i i don't know if that house is occupied or not hard to say this one's wide open First, there's a fallen tree, which is going to make it difficult. Oh, the steps look really bad, so I'm going to pass on that. Sometimes the, 
the decks the decks and stuff can be deceiving <laughs> you got to be really careful especially when you weigh as much as a rhinoceros like I do I think someone yeah someone lives here I think it's actually a nice house say there's people living here too. Oh, come on. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> Look at that mess. All of these are falling down. There's people using this to dump. Though this looks like old garbage. I feel bugs. No. They're mosquitoes. Let's go. I'm, I'm covered with mosquitoes. My legs are covered with them. Oh, no. Gotta get some bug spray. Let me see if they're gone. Yeah, I gotta. Where is it? They're mosquitoes. Oh no way! There, there was like 15 of them on my leg. Oh. There's that one house that's uh, completely empty, and the one next to it as well. These houses aren't very big. They're quite small, actually. You can see someone put a extension back there on that one. This is North Rose Street. I know I've done some videos down here before. Usually, um, people dump their garbage down here because it's a nice, quiet street. It looks like they have installed some kind of uh, monitoring device here. I would assume, is that a camera? Yeah, it looks like a camera. Um, to, to, you know, if people are dumping to see if they can get a license plate. But most of the people who dump, they will, um, cover their plate well before they come down the alleyway right so it's all kind of pointless uh here is uh, i've seen all kinds of stuff dumped back here boats cars we went back here one time together and there was like a bmw remember it was like destroyed. yeah like furniture oh my god you asshole who oh this guy Shall we? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go have a look. <laughs> Just make sure you lock it. Now these uh, tires are excellent breeding ground for mosquitoes. Yeah. So I'm sure we'll, I'll get even more mosquito bites all over me. I don't know if we've been in here before. Uh, it stinks like pee and the floor is collapsed right there so I'm going to go ahead and pass on venturing any further and I'm covered with bugs so that's all we get tonight from here 
Dylan and I decide to go off the beaten path and uh, I don't know what Dill no seriously, what is that? Can we go look? Look. What the fuck? Maybe it's just. It looks like it's probably just a sock. I don't know. Well, like whose sock? Let me just. I'm gonna get out and have a look. Dylan, it looks like blood. No. See what I'm talking about? Yeah. Here, I have a stick. Let me... Oh, it could be... Well, it looks like this is a hoodie. Like, this is a jacket, right? Yeah, maybe it's... You know what? It's probably just the... the you know what it is? The dye. It's, the, it's inside out. It's the material of this... Of this jacket. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, see, see how it's red, like red, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's like rotting, and there's a bunch of bugs inside. <sighs> I'm so glad that wasn't like a hand. <laughs> Can you imagine? This is kind of weird. Oh, look, there's a pond. Oh, that's what stings. Yep. That pond looks so gross. Look how dirty it looks. The picture looks so bad. Yeah, there's noise. Oh, there is. Yeah, you can see it. But it's not as, uh, it's not as bright out as it was. Right. Where are we going? <laughs> like, this goes. Uh, oh my god! There's like a giant ditch right next to this thing. Oh, oh shit! I see it. Yeah, this is. I mean, this is basically just a swamp. Yeah, with a little road to it. This is a perfect place for some bodies. Yeah, I mean, if you were gonna dump a <laughs> dump a body, this would be. I I really don't know about that way. <laughs> I'm gonna stick to this. Yeah, that is like for ATV, right? Yeah. Probably a way up onto that. Oh. This is just like a dead end. Well, there's this, but this probably just goes around the back of that lake. Yeah. Okay, so we uh, we decided to skip that because I want to do it, but I'm going to come back in the daytime because I'm so afraid that someone's going to come along and lock this gate. <laughs> this gate. There's a fresh lock there too. Look at that. Oh, sure. yeah, it's like shining. Yeah, that's a fresh lock. So this gate is obviously probably closed at night. I don't know what time they close it. No dumping, it says. I'm glad everyone was safe. Look, there's a, um, that's a damn pop-up camper. Oh. <laughs> I think. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a pop-up camper there buried and all the shit um but back here there's a park and i would love to go see it um it looks really interesting like a bunch of old junk has been dumped back there but um i'm afraid that that gate we're gonna be back there for an hour and then that <laughs> gate is gonna be locked when we get back and there's no way out of here and i have no clue call. who we'd call to get out so we should leave a note on the lock. Like, hey, we're trespassing. Hi. Um, there's people with their dog. 
two homosexuals were, ex <laughs> were exploring the back country next to 695. <laughs> People are dumping all kinds of stuff back here. Look at this. What is that? What is that? Is it applesauce? Yeah, it's probably um, inventory that they needed to just get rid of. I see that a lot. Uh, I've never seen a pile of applesauce like that. <laughs> One what are you time, about? you see that a lot. I've never seen it. I saw boxes and boxes and boxes of unopened sour uh, patch kids, like in the same kind of thing. It's just when they need to just get rid of the inventory instead of giving it away to anyone. supposed to put it in a damn dumpster and not dump it off the side of the road. Yeah, it's fucked. There's more junk right there. What do you got there? That looks like a, uh, that metal thing. Um, I don't know what that looks like. But yeah, there was like Sour Patch Kids. One time it was like a bunch of, um, God, what are those fucking like nasty ass like gummy candy? Oh, Laffy Taffy. Oh, this is literally the end of the road. <laughs> Oh, it's the gate. <laughs> it's an alarm on the gate that's going off because I'm 